Uh, what you know, Palmyr, uh, Palmyra is occupied two times. One, for 10 months, they destroyed a lot of the buildings and they attacked the uh, National Museum of Palmyra. And second, uh, in December 2016, uh, they regained Palmyra and reoccupied Palmyra. Now the situation is for us uh, is very pessimist. What will happen? I don't know. But I am not a very uh, optimist what will happen in Palmyra through the ISIS because through the, what happened in the first times, it was clear that they are barbar, terrorists, they attack, don't respect their cultural heritage in Palmyra and another site in Syria. Uh, it was good for us before the occupation of the ISIS in the first times, we transported the good party of the statues, about 400 uh, hundreds, uh, statues, uh, beautiful statues to Damascus, and many hundreds of uh, uh, small artifacts. In the, uh, after the liberation also, we evacuated about the totality of the National Museum of Palmyra, uh, all object, what uh, uh, damaged or no damaged. We reopened all the safe uh, places and we transported all things to Damascus. Now it is under risk. What will happen? Another new explosion, another new destruction. Anti, I don't hope to have new image of bad situation in Palmyra because I am sure that they are terrorists. Uh, but what we need to save Palmyra very quickly, if they stay many times like the first times, I am sure we will receive new bad image about the destruction of new building in Palmyra. You say you are pessimistic, but is there any hope uh, in the fact that the Council of Europe uh, is coming up with a convention to criminalise the acts of vandalism and indeed the trafficking of uh, artefacts to other countries? Uh, and indeed UNESCO has a, has a treaty as well. Is there any hope there? Yeah, yeah, it's good uh, hope for us uh, when the Council of Europe tried to make new convention, uh, new measures in cooperation with UNESCO and another uh, partners in the world. It, finally, what we do, uh, it is a protection of the culture. It is for the, all the humanity. We need the Council of Europe uh, initiatives. We need the measures uh, taken by uh, Council of the Europe. Without the Council of Europe, we cannot go alone. We need all the international community. Uh, I am proud today uh, because I am here with my colleagues who prepared a lot of the things about this new convention, etc., in cooperation in the UNESCO. Through this coordination, we can reduce the impact uh, on the cultural heritage through the uh, destruction of the ISIS and uh, mafia, etc., etc.